Hello, Internet, and welcome to Behind the Meme. Today we have a look at I Will Survive. You know, throughout my short life, there have been a few things that are reliable and never let me down. They are comfort in a world that is otherwise chaotic. Things like my favorite football team always sucking and never winning the playoffs. I'm looking at you, Jerry Jones. McDonald's tasting oh so great going in, but coming out oh so shitty. Literally. And Disney producing some of the most family-friendly and heartwarming movies you can imagine. In fact, my very first memory of going to a movie theater was to go see The Lion King all the way back in the 90s when the world seemed to be much simpler and wholesome. Fast forward 20 years and the world has become all sorts of effed up. And if you think that Disney isn't subject to that change either, then you have another thing coming, my friend. Just last year in 2016, Disney released the animated film Zootopia to much critical acclaim. It quickly became one of the highest grossing films of the year and even one of the highest grossing animated films of all time. And in that process, it helped Disney add more cash to their already enormous pile of cash fueled by parents' need to distract their brat children. Both kids and adults love the story of Judy and Nick a rabbit and fox team that work together to uncover a conspiracy plaguing the city of Zootopia. So let me ask you this, what does the topic of Zootopia and abortion have in common? Huh? Nothing, right? Well, that's what a normal person would think, but you forget that we live in 2017, a time when nothing makes sense. You see, in March of 2017, the talented deviant art artist Borba created a Zootopia fan comic titled I Will Survive. It has nothing to do with that one song by that one chick. I know what you're thinking. People make tons of fan comics and art of popular franchises all the time. What's the big deal with this one? Well, this one dealt with the topic of keeping or getting rid of a child Judy and Nick apparently conceived together. Yeah. Like I said, welcome to 2017. You better take a picture, otherwise nobody's gonna believe half the stuff going on this year is real. The comic itself is pretty amazing artistic-wise. Borba is very talented. And as far as storyline goes, it plays out like a damn soap opera with the drama set to 10 nearly the whole time. You see, Judy informs Nick that she is pregnant. Apparently, rabbits and foxes can bang and have a kid. But surprisingly, that's not the primary focus here. You see, Nick wants the baby and is super excited to be a dad. But Judy is focused on her career and thinks the baby may ruin her chances at succeeding in life. When Judy begins to explain this to Nick, he is upset and argues that the life should be given to their unborn child. But Judy continues to argue her point about her career, saying that she will do almost anything for it. And Nick responds with the brutal comeback of it seems like you could even kill our baby for your career. Upon hearing those words, Judy snaps, pimp slapping Nick harder than any rabbit has slapped a fox before. After receiving the strike, Nick wisely removes himself from the situation and informs Judy that he is leaving and her choice is the wrong choice. The comic ends with Judy crying on the ground as Nick leaves their apartment. And the author leaves the reader with the final words of nothing lasts forever. Even even an apparently everlasting love that has triumphed over the odds and many challenges may eventually come to an end as the comic itself ends. God damn. Talk about intense drama. I haven't seen anything this dramatic since my last family holiday. And to be honest, I haven't seen anything this weird for quite some time. Especially when you consider that the characters and subject matter are the complete opposite of family friendly like Disney would most likely want. Many people have speculated that the comic's intention was to create a pro-life narrative and push that belief upon its readers. But Borba responded to this as not being the case or his intentions. But that hasn't stopped the internet from having all sorts of fun with the comic, creating memes and interpreting the storyline in strange and funny ways. With many people taking the regular dialogue of the comic and altering it to fit a new joke or taking the artwork and putting them in brand new situations, often crossing them with other notable memes. I swear, every day I wake up and every day things just get more weird and odd. Heck, who knows, maybe the Cowboys will actually make it to the playoffs this year. Mm, on second thought, nah. That's, that's not gonna happen. So there you have it. What started off as a family-friendly animated film made its way to the internet where it was reimagined in a surprisingly odd way. But hey, that's the internet for you and on the internet, memes are king. 
Thank you all so very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can catch my next video and stay up to date on all your favorite memes and trends. Much love and appreciation. I'll catch you beautiful people next time.